Hello my dear students, in the previous lecture I was here in 600 BC when fields of millet is rubbed amber with woolen cloth, amber acquired, uh, acquired the property of electric, uh, you can say attraction and woolen cloth also got electrified and it starts attracting the sparkles. Now let's go to 1600 AD where William Gilbert from England performed many experiments between dif rubbing different substances and he gave the electrified property of amber called resinous he gave the name to the electrified property attained by woolen cloth as vitreous but why vitreous? I will explain it later on do fit Dufay in 18th century discovered that or you can say said that there are two types of charges but he didn't give any name to the charges. Benjamin Franklin simultaneously in around 18th century Benjamin Franklin done the experiment between gloss or and silk cloth and then he gave two charges, the name, he gave the name of two char charges as positive and negative. Now how? Let's see. See, he rubbed, uh, this is before rubbing, he took a glass off and rubbed with a silk cloth. But before rubbing, see, dust particles there, it is not electrified, this is also not electrified. Now this is during rubbing and this is after rubbing. After rubbing, what he found? This is again start attracting small bits of dust particles. This again starts attracting small bits of dust particles. Both are electrified. Same as done by things of latest. Now, Benjamin Franklin said that this glass are attain positive charge. And this cloth, silk cloth, attain negative charge. Glass or in Latin called vitreous. That's why this the electrified property of woolen cloth is also known as vitreous, which is named later on. Anyway, meanwhile, the discovery of electron is also there. Now, how? The question is that how and why? How and why did these two charges, these two bodies become positive and negative? Now let me explain and that is called electron theory. Electron theory behind it. Electron theory behind all these things. Now when he rubbed these two bodies, electrons may get transferred from one body to and now you may be knowing atom is a neutral. Why atom is a neutral? Because it has equal number of protons as well as equal number of electrons. Electrons are revolving around the nucleus. That's why atom is a neutral. That's why every body which is not rubbed is a neutral. Now when he rubbed two things, glass rod versus silk cloth, there may be some wear and tear. There may be some wear and tear and electrons get transferred from one body to another body. Now in this case, and you may be knowing that, the body which loses electron, if an atom loses one electron, it means one proton is more, then it attains a positive charge. If another body takes, now another atom takes one electron, then it becomes a negatively charged. Just like in chemistry, we have Na positive and Na Cl negative. If Na loses one electron, it becomes Na positive. If Cl takes one electron, it becomes one negative. Same here, what happens? When they are rubbed together, wear and tear takes place. Electrons get transferred. They get transferred from glass rod to silk cloth. They get transferred from glass rod to silk cloth. 
for example, five electrons get transferred. Five electrons get transferred. It means this has five electrons less and this has five electrons more. It means it becomes positive. Positively, this becomes positively charged and this becomes negatively charged because at that time electron is found to be have a negative charge during Benjamin Franklin, DJ Thompson and other scientists have proved that. So when electrons get transferred to this side, this becomes negatively charged, say 5 negative and simultaneously this becomes 5 positive. Obviously, when there is a transfer of electrons, electrons, not only five electrons will transfer from one body to another body, uh, millions, billions and trillions of electrons will transfer from one body to another body while rubbing. It means this acquires a charge Q equals to plus 5E. Now what is plus, why it is plus, and what is E, we will do it later on. But what is E here? E is charge of electron. 1.6 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb and here we have the charge equals to q minus 5 e minus 5 y because 5 electrons has been transferred and e e is the charge of electron what is the theory behind it it is this is this theory is called electron theory electrons get transferred from one body to another body so that the body that can takes electrons become negatively charged and the body that gives electrons become equally positively charged. Now see here, how many charges are here? Plus 5. What is here? Minus 5. What is the total charge here? Total charge again here becomes plus 5e minus 5e that becomes 0. See, charge is conserved. Conservation of charge I will take in the next lecture. But see here, what is total charge here? 0. Why? It was neutral. It was neutral. Total charge was 0. What is the charge here? Plus 5e. What is the here? Minus 5e. What is the total charge? 0. The conservation of charge holds here. One thing more. When charge is produced, it is produced in pairs. One positive, one negative. One positive, one negative. If it is 5 positive here, it will be 5 negative here. The question is, it means, you know, here we have 5 positive charge only. Negative charge only. The question is that why electrons get transferred? Why not protons? Very simple. Electrons revolve around the nucleus in the orbits and they are very much far away from the nucleus. And whereas protons are bound inside the nucleus by very strong nuclear forces and have a great binding energy. It's very difficult to eject proton from the nucleus. Just simple by rubbing. So by rubbing you can remove electrons. The electrons get removed from one body to and so that's why electrons get transferred. Protons can't move from here to there. Now one question is that if five electrons get transferred here or oh, millions of trillions of electrons get transferred here. So, kya glass rod ka mass kam ho jayega ya bhar jayega ya utna hi rahega. What do you think about it? Obviously, if electrons get transferred to now, I will ask you if the electrons get transferred from here to here. What about the mass? Mass of glass or mass of silicon? Now the answer is that since the mass of electron is 9.1 10 raised to minus 31 kg, definitely there is a transfer of mass from here from glass rod to silk cloth. Think electron is a particle which has a mass like this. And of course, not five electrons will transfer. Millions of electrons, millions, billions and trillions of electrons get transferred from one body to another body. Therefore, during this process, glass rod will lose its mass 
and silk cloth will gain the equal amount of parts. Now let's come to here also. When amber rod is rubbed with woolen cloth, so there is a transfer of electrons from woolen cloth to the amber. Say so these are electrons. Let four electrons say four electrons get transferred. Then this becomes plus four e, and this becomes minus 4e where q is the symbol used for charge plus 4e because it has lost 4 electrons minus 4e because it has gained 4 electrons now the question is that while rubbing 2 substances one loses electrons and other gains electrons now who loses electrons and who will gain electrons depend upon the their work function. What is the work function? The energy required to eject the electrons from their orbits. Minimum energy required just to eject the electrons from their orbit, last orbit. Now, whose work function is very less, it is easier to lose an electron as compared to the other one. Now, here this is an electrostatic series, also called triboelectric series. You can make this series by you, yourself. Well, this is the series for your reference. There may be some difference in order, but see, flannel, glass, or mica, human hair, these are the series. What this series indicates? In this series, if you rub two things, any two things, for example, you rub flannel with Teflon. After rubbing, flannel acquires positive charge. Teflon become negative charge because flannel has, uh, flannel has have a low work function and Teflon has a high work function. So it loses electrons very easily and it takes electrons comfortably. So it becomes positive, it becomes negative. So in this series, if you rub any two substances higher up in the series with the substance lower in the series, the higher substance become positively charged and the lower substance become negatively charged. This is called triboelectric series or simple, simply you can say electrostatic series. You can make your own series also by doing experiments by rubbing two substances. These two experiments is to be understand very well. One is um, amber with woolen. Amber acquires negative which is called resonance. Woolen acquired a property of vitreous that is positive. Silk and glass. Silk and glass is easily available these days. You can do this experiment at home. Glass rod becomes positive. That is vitreous. The name of glass is vitreous in Latin. And silk cloth attains negative. So with the help of these two experiments, you can have, or with the help of these, this experiment only, you can make your own series. Why? Because you know, light charges repel each other, unlike charges attract each other. They come close. The two charges. Like charges repel each other, unlike charges attract each other. By using this concept, you can make these two, this series, at your home. Anyway, what I want to say, ah, one more question. Why these two positive charges repel? Why these two attract? These two attract to attain equilibrium, equilibrium of energy, potential energy. This may be higher potential, this may be lower potential. I will explain it later on. So higher potential and lower potential. They get attracted towards each other and become to attain equilibrium. These are same, negative and negative will also 
repel. This has a theory also behind it. But the question is that whether these light charges repel each other always? No. No, no. I will explain later on when because of in the topic charging by induction. Charging by induction. I will explain this topic in the next lecture. Light charges usually repel each other, unlike charges usually attract each other. But when one charge is very big and other charge is very small, small in quantity, small in potential, there is a possibility that the light charges may attract each other because of induction. In next chapter, I will explain you charging by induction. So this is today's lecture. Charging process, history behind production of charges, and electron theory, electrostatics series, the tribal electrostatics, more positive elements, and less lower work function elements, higher work function elements, transfer of electrons, transfer of mass, symbol of charge is Q, conservation of charge I have told you. In next chapter, I will take charging by induction. Thank you students. That's it.